Valentino Rossi is one of the most iconic characters in motorcycle racing history. During his career, the doctor had amassed nine world titles to his name, seven of which were in the Premier MotoGP Championships. Born the son of former motorcycle racer Graziano Rossi, racing was in his blood. And so Valentino began what would turn out to be his life-defining career at a very early age. He first started out with karts, winning the Regional Kart Championship in 1990. Unfortunately, karting proved to be too expensive to maintain for the family, and so young Valentino decided to switch his focus to Minimoto. Doing so proved to be an inspired choice, as the Italian clearly showed massive talent on two wheels. It would not be long before Rossi won his first motorcycle racing championship, winning the Italian 125cc championship in 1994 at the age of 15, before winning it again the year after. In 1996, Rossi joined the world stage, making his debut in the 125cc class of Grand Prix motorcycle racing. The very same year, he scored his first Grand Prix win in Brno, Czech Republic. On the podium, <laughs> Rossi making a joke. Oh, we're wrapping himself up in bandages after having a traffic accident last weekend. The highlight of his junior career would come the next year, when Rossi dominated the 1997 125cc championship by winning 11 out of the 15 races. After winning the title in 1997, Rossi would move up to the 250cc world championship for the following year. However, it would not be for another year that he would win another championship. But, just as in his previous class, when he did finally win, he did it in style, winning 9 out of the 16 races in the 1999 season to clinch the 250cc World Championship. After his success in the junior categories, Rossi moved to MotoGP in the year 2000, joining Honda and finishing second in the championship for his rookie season. And just like in the junior categories, he won the championship on his second year of competition, amassing 11 victories and 325 points on his way to the season's trophy. His first championship would begin the era of his dominance at the top, as he won a further two consecutive championships with Honda before switching to Yamaha and winning another two consecutive championships in 2004 and 2005. In 2006, Rossi faced a stiff title challenge and ultimately lost the championship. Coming into the final race of the season in Valencia in the lead, Rossi would fall off his bike during the race and finish 13th, while title challenger Nicky Hayden finished 3rd to clinch the championship. However, this would not prove to be the end of the Valentino Rossi era, as the doctor would win a further two championships with Yamaha in 2008 and 2009, dominating both seasons in typical Rossi fashion. Rossi would continue his career at Yamaha until 2011 when he switched to Ducati. Sadly, his 2011 season was marred with tragedy, as he lost his close friend and protege Marco Simoncelli in Malaysia of that year. Rossi was so devastated by this loss that he created his racing academy project known as VR46 to mentor Italian riders in honor of his fallen friend. Rossi would endure two winless seasons during his tenure at Ducati before switching back to Yamaha in 2013. His move to Yamaha brought him back to the top step of the podium as he won a single race in the Netherlands in 2013. He would then score a further 9 wins with the team, marking his last ever win during the Dutch TT at Assen in 2017. Valentino Rossi! His career is done! He would continue racing in MotoGP, switching to SRT Yamaha in 2021 before retiring at the end of the year. After his retirement, the doctor was inducted so, into the MotoGP yeah, Hall of Fame. Unfortunately, this will be the last uh, half season uh, as a uh, MotoGP rider. 
during his career, he had amassed a record 435 entries, 150 wins, 65 poles, a record 235 podiums, and a record 6,357 points. A fitting end to an illustrious career. You know, I think Rossi's first good move was actually moving to motorcycle when he did go-kart. He decided, nah, I didn't have enough cash for car racing. I'll just switch to motorcycle. <laughs> good move. <laughs> now he is a legend. All right, the Italian racer had achieved many accolades during his career. And here are some of the less known facts that you might not know about El Doctor. Right, did you know that Rossi is annoyed by Honda's attitude? Before joining Yamaha, Rossi moved to the Premier Class in 2000 with the Honda team. There, he managed to win three World Championships in 2001, 2002, and 2003 with a crew inherited from Mick Doohan. Well, Rossi believed that he could not achieve more success with Honda because of their by quality, not because he lacked of skills. When Rossi announced he would move to Yamaha in 2004, Honda manager Suguru Kanazawa said they will create a better racing bike once he leaves. However, it did not go through and Rossi was highly successful with the Yamaha team. Now, there is a second less known fact about Rossi or El Doctor is his rocky relationship with Jorge Lorenzo. When the Spaniard joined Yamaha in 2008, he was regarded as an intruder by Rossi. The Italian would often request his bike to be fitted with Bridgestone tires while Lorenzo's bike were often equipped with those from Michelin. Rossi went on to win the world title, but the atmosphere in Yamaha became so toxic that the two racers were placed in different sides of the garage. <laughs> well, aside of the 16th of February is his birthday. I wonder how he got that name, Valentino. Well, another fact is uh, he is a fan of Barry Sheen. He idolizes Sheen, who took the world twice in a row in 1976 and 1977. Not just that, Sheen is also friends with Rossi's uh, father, Graziano. When Sheen passed away in 2003, Rossi completed an honorary lap dedicated to his memory. He did it after winning the Australian Grand Prix. Interestingly, he completed the lap with a flag made from a blanket he took from his hotel. <laughs> 